from the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. Chasing him at 185 pounds tonight, at least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. Championship fight. Adesanya is five years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. Now, to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bors Chibayev. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last day of UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Yes. 
All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Adesanya gets back up. Back into his comfort zone. Under. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, again, a hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for him. Oh, oh diamond. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his move for a right. Oh, my God. He switched the lob to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And he connects there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just missed with the left there. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Big head kick lands. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Round two next. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every Second round here. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Oh, collar tie. Big cut man from the top. I was gonna follow this Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the leg. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Adesanya gets back up again. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can get That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to have too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking for And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a performance. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. And another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 37 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel. So 
there he is, the man of the hour. He came in the champion, and he's going home with hardware as well. Congrats to the still UFC middleweight champion. The middleweight champion of the world. His name and that title seems to run in the same breath because it just fits. Over and over, he takes on the best fighters in his division, and he gets the job done. Congratulations, champ.